Getting a clear and balanced sound in the mid to high frequencies can be a time-consuming challenge. It can be frustrating to try a number of different EQ curves and still end up with a muddy, dull, thin, or harsh sounding song. Introducing Mixroom, an intelligent EQ that guides you to set the perfect balance of richness and clarity, whether you're working on a vocal, a synth, or mastering your music. Mixroom analyzes your audio and shows you which frequencies could be adjusted to improve your sound. You can use Mixroom to EQ anything in your session. It works great on vocals, instruments, grouped buses, or on your master channel. To get the most value from Mixroom, start by selecting a preset that best suits the material you're working on, or you can create your own target values to help you get closer to the sound of your favorite tracks. Now monitor a full-bodied section of your audio. If you're using Mixroom for mastering, then monitor the drop or chorus. The target EQ curve takes out the guesswork and helps you dial in a pro-sounding result in seconds. The Add Smart Bands button will instantly load EQ bands that match the target EQ curve to give you a great starting point. Mixroom delivers a super fast, clear and immersive mixing experience with easily adjustable EQ bands and mid-side functionality, allowing you to efficiently fine-tune your sound. The EQ adjustments may have changed the perceived loudness of your audio, making it difficult to hear whether the changes you've made are improving your sound. Line up the gain slider to the level match pointer to match the perceived loudness of your audio before it passed through Mixroom. This allows you to subjectively hear how the changes have affected your sound. Whether your audio is muddy, dull, thin, harsh, or even almost perfect, Mixroom helps you elevate your mix to get a great balance of richness and clarity. Double click anywhere in Mixroom to add an EQ band. You can use the dotted lines to help you align the new EQ band with the Hertz scale and heat map. Bands will be added in the Mixroom space based on your mouse's position relative to the zero decibel line in the center of the room. Adding a band using the heat map on the sides of the interface will be relative to the Hertz scale. Most ordinary EQs use a horizontal representation of frequencies and vertical representation of gain. Mixroom focuses more on how we experience audio in the real world. Louder sounds feel closer, while quieter sounds feel further away. Lower frequencies are associated with a foundation, whilst higher frequencies are perceived as air. To reflect this, in Mixroom, frequencies are displayed vertically and gain is represented by depth in the room. Push frequency bands back in the room to decrease gain and bring them forward to increase gain. This unique and intuitive UI helps you visualize how you're adjusting the tonal balance of your song. This gives you a more immersive mixing experience, helping you connect more with your music. The frequency range in Mixroom is 320 Hz to 20 kHz, making it the perfect companion to our plug-in Bassroom, which covers 320 Hz and below. Both Mixroom and Bassroom have specifically designed filters to give maximum transparency in their frequency ranges. The horizontal line that runs through the middle of the EQ bands represents the frequency of the band measured in Hertz. Click and drag this line to adjust the frequency. Double click the Hertz line to enter an amount manually. The Q bandwidth control is located at the top and bottom of each EQ band. Click and drag the control to adjust the Q bandwidth and double click to enter the amount manually. Each band has full mid-side capabilities, allowing you to shape the balance of your stereo spread. Using mid-side processing is particularly useful for when you want to adjust the gain of a particular frequency in a specific stereo position. Hover your mouse over an EQ band's control panel and click the M for mid, S for side, and the stereo icon for stereo. Click and drag the stereo icon left and right to set a perfect blend of mid-side. Click the headphone icon to solo the EQ band. The solo feature helps you identify the exact frequency and Q bandwidth setting that you want to adjust. Click the power icon to bypass the EQ band. This gives you quick access to toggle individual adjustments on and off to ensure you're making positive progress with your sound. Hover your mouse over an EQ band's control panel and click the cross to delete the EQ band. 
The high shelf button allows you to switch between a high shelf and a bell filter for that individual band. The high shelf icon appears on EQ bands above 1.6 kHz. Hover your mouse over an EQ band's control panel to reveal the high shelf button. EQ bands can overlap each other, especially when they're at different depths in the mix room. Bring focus to an EQ band by hovering your mouse over any part that doesn't overlap another EQ band. Once in focus, the band will stay in focus until you move your mouse off the band entirely, allowing you to access and adjust the gain, hertz, Q bandwidth, and other controls. You can access bands completely covered by other bands by clicking the hertz line of the hidden band. The AB button allows you to quickly switch between two different states of the plugin. This enables you to try a different approach to your audio to see what works best. The arrow above the AB button copies the active state to the inactive state. This allows you to keep the current settings of the plugin in the inactive state and make a few adjustments in the active state to see if you can improve the sound. You can then jump between A and B to see which you prefer. The mix room presets can be found in the bottom left corner of the plugin. Find and select the genre or instrument description that best matches the audio you're working on. For example, pop, electronic, male rock vocals, etc. Feel free to experiment with different presets to see which gives you the tonal balance targets best suited to your preference. Once you've selected a preset, you'll see a green target EQ curve on the walls of Mixroom. You can create your own target values by clicking the target icon in the bottom left corner and importing reference tracks. If you're creating mixing or mastering targets, we recommend clicking and dragging on the waveform to select the drop or chorus for the analysis, as this is usually the material with the best representation of the full frequency spectrum in the track. If you create a great sounding individual channel, such as a vocal, bass, guitar, or synth, then you can bounce and import the audio into Mixroom to match that same tonal balance in the future. Use your Digital Audio Workstation plugin wrapper to save your presets so you can recall them in other sessions. Mixroom will create targets based on all the tracks loaded into the analysis window, and you can analyze up to 20 tracks at a time. The transport bar below the waveform allows you to preview the audio of your selected reference track. You need to enable input monitoring to audition tracks. Click and drag to create and adjust loops. Alt click on a loop to delete it. Alt click outside a loop to delete all loops on that track. When a preset is created or selected, you'll see a green curve appear on the walls of Mixroom. This is the target EQ curve. The target EQ curve is based on the total accumulating audio of your track analyzed by Mixroom. To reset the audio analysis, click the burger menu in the top right corner and click Reset Targets. Use the target EQ curve to get a great starting point, then adjust by ear to tweak your sound to perfection. The algorithm accounts for differences in loudness, so the targets will always be accurate and relevant. The Add Smart Bands button shows when a preset has been selected and Mixroom has analyzed enough of your audio, usually around three seconds. The Add Smart Bands button will instantly load EQ bands that match the target EQ curve. Any adjustment targets less than a plus minus 0.5 decibel change will not trigger the Smart Bands. Alternatively, you can double click anywhere in Mixroom to create new EQ bands and adjust the gain and Q bandwidth manually. The Add Smart Bands button will automatically disappear once you start adding bands, but will still be available in the burger menu. The audio input heat map displays the frequency specific peaks of your audio. The brighter the glow, the more energy there is in that frequency range. Inside the burger menu near the top right corner of the plugin, you'll find the mix and master modes. Mix mode filters are best for when your EQ bands have cuts or boosts greater than 4 decibels, and Q bandwidth settings narrower than 1.5Q. Master mode filters are best for when your EQ bands have cuts or boosts less than 4 decibels, and Q bandwidth settings broader than 1.5Q. When in master mode, Mixroom will not allow you to exceed these thresholds. You won't be able to select master mode when in mix mode if your current settings exceed the thresholds. 
Next to the mix and master modes, we have the linear and minimum phase options. Linear phase filters will introduce very slight transient effects, but no phase distortion. Minimum phase filters introduce much less transient effects, but with some phase distortion. In all settings, Mixtrum's filtering system has been specifically developed to maximize transparency. The speaker icon in the top right corner will bypass Mixroom when clicked. Hovering over the icon will open the output slider. EQ adjustments in any plugin will most likely increase or decrease the volume of your audio. The output slider has a level match pointer to help you adjust the output gain to match the original perceived loudness of your audio before it passed through Mixroom. If your EQ adjustments change the gain of your audio by more than two decibels, the bypass icon will turn orange to prompt you to adjust the output gain. So when you bypass Mixroom by clicking the speaker icon, you can confidently determine whether your settings have had a positive or negative impact on your sound. The default display range is plus minus 12 decibels. The positive display range figure is shown at the base in the center of Mixroom. The negative display range figure is shown at the back of the room. Click and hold the display range figure to change the range. If your EQ bands are not within the selected range, you'll see a circle of the hidden bands color just off the Hertz scale or at the back of the mix room. Click on the circle to jump to the range that accommodates that band. Mixroom is fully resizable. Click and drag the bottom right corner of Mixroom to resize the UI. If you get stuck, turn on the interactive help tips from the settings. We hope you get loads of value from Mixroom and that it helps you get your mixes sounding better than ever.